We now bring you our regularly scheduled program, Already in Progress. Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Still City Mukbang Already in Progress. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hey guys, how you doing today? Thank you all my subscribers, old and new. I love you. And to those of you who have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, I'm already in progress. That's unusual. But I had to shoot a quick TikTok video. With the same plate. So. Already in progress. So I have. Some chicken tacos. Actually rotisserie chicken tacos. A freezer surprise. Digging through the freezer. Found some leftover rotisserie chicken. So I drug it out of the freezer, tacoed it up, that's what we're having. <clears throat> Had some chips and salsa, homemade. Good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. This might be my second favorite food. After wings. But you knew that. So I haven't had a neighbor story for you in a little while. I got a little one. <clears throat> it's just short. Then we're talking about something else, current events. But... My handicapped neighbor that keeps his scooter in my garage. He uses my electricity to charge it. 95% of the time. Every once in a while, he'll ride it over to his front door, drag an extension cord out and charge it from his house, from his apartment. Occasionally, but for the most part, he charges it off of my electricity in my garage. Last year, he came over and he said, I, I should probably pay you something for the electricity. It was around November. I'm like, yeah, that'd be very nice. <laughs> yeah, you're using it, sure. I'm being nice. I charged him $30 for the whole year. $30. Bucks. That would have been from November of 2020 to November of 2021. Okay. So from November 2021 to the current, November 2022, you're due again. And although I've told him multiple times, countless times, when it's done charging, unplug it. He hasn't done that yet. He'll leave it plugged in two or three days. I 
I haven't threatened them one time. If you don't come over here when it's done charging, you can't leave it here anymore. You have to find somewhere else to keep and charge it. That didn't work. He still leaves it plugged in days and days. And I'll just go out and snatch it out of the plug. I'm so mad. Like, I hope it breaks. I don't even care. Electricity is going up. It has gone up. Not is going. It's gone up already. So, I wrote him a little bill. Stuck it in his mailbox. $30 for the year. Even though the electricity went up, I'm still only charging him $30. Gave him a week. You got a week to pay it. I should mention, for those of you who don't know, the guy's father was rich. Passed away. He got money. <clears throat> okay. So, I get an um, envelope in my mailbox from him. I'm thinking, oh, it's the check. No, it's a letter asking me since he was in the hospital for 10 days in October could he get a discount? Could he pay $25? That was 10 days, dude. You use electric for an entire year. No. No is the answer. No. If you got 25, you got 30. Am I right? Especially sitting on an inheritance. You got it. Anyway. <laughs> I wrote back and told him. I wrote down the days that he used the electricity and how many days he left it plugged in for three or four days in a row. I included all that this time. I said, we had a rate increase. I should be charging you 35 I should be charging you $5 more, not less. So the answer is no. And you still got till Monday to give me 30 bucks. Period. End of story. What's wrong with people? I'm very close to telling him, we're done. You can't charge it here. You can't keep it here either. Because I don't want to fight with you next year. I don't want you trying to Jip me down when inflation prices are going sky high. What's wrong with you? Well, we all kind of know he's missing a few marbles, but still, dude, come on now. Pay your way. I gotta pay mine. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it with him. Mm. My current event, I'm a little bit late. But I was just reading about it. And I've been hearing about it online. So I decided to go ahead and look it up and see what's going on. With the young lady that was killed in Mexico. On a little party vacation with some of her friends. What is up with that? I mean, plain as day. I saw the video of the, the woman beating her. In her hotel room. Supposedly one of her friends. Beating her to a pulp. There's a video. The young lady passed away of spinal cord and neck injuries. 
Hmm. Now that can happen from a beating, can it? That can happen from a beating. Every one of those friends should be charged. Especially the cameraman who was filming it and not helping the girl. How sad is that? How sad is that? I watch CNN all the time. I mean, from morning till night. It's usually on my television. And since October, I have not heard a word about this girl on CNN. That's why I didn't know about it. But let me tell you. The four Idaho college students that were stabbed to death in their rooms. They're airing that on CNN as much as they aired the election results. What's the difference? That four people were killed instead of just one? I hate to throw the race card, but <laughs> I will. Is it because it was just a young black woman versus four white college students? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know these days. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know these days. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Because if I didn't Google it or see it on different social media, I wouldn't have known. But both cases, the college student stabbed to death and the young girl in Mexico got killed. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. They had this murderer running around Idaho that killed those four kids. And they haven't charged any of those five kids that were with the girl in Mexico. Like, come on. I don't know. All the investigations are still going on. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope the Idaho killer is caught. And I hope that girl's friends get charged. All of them. Well, then, I probably didn't need those chips because I'm full. And you know, I usually eat five tacos. So, I'm done running my mouth. I'm going to tap out. Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon.